Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the gorgeous uh, island of St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a challenge today. Flew the Islander the other day for the first time in quite a while, and uh, it was a lot of fun, so I thought I'd I thought I'd get into the plane again today and see what kind of fun we can have. Let's go fuel valves on. Huh? All right, let's do here. Uh, rotating beacon on. The mixtures are rich. Props full forward. Mm, master switches on. Avionics master on. Let's Go, uh, fuel is on, mags on, well, number one mags. Let's crack the throttles. We got to put on external power supply. Hopefully I'll be a little bit better today at this, uh, find the Islander thing. Okay, both props are clear. And let's hit the starter for the left engine. Good start. Let's come back a little bit on the on the manifold pressure there. Right engine is clear once again. Good start there as well. Uh, let's get the mags on both. Let's close the starter hood. I forgot to turn the fuel pumps on, so I don't have to turn them off. Oops. In reality, the, it's kind of questionable if the plane actually would have started uh, without the fuel pumps on. So let's go nav the strobe lights on. Let's have a look here real quick at the radio. And I updated the radios, the, the GNS 530 here. And we do have San Juan Center on, so we want to go 11815. All right, so this will take about a half an hour to do. Okay, the other thing I want to do. All right, there's 11815. I'm just gonna lean the mixtures here just a little bit. I leaned them the other day, and they, <laughs> well, well, the right engine anyway, quit. So I'll get my nav charts out here, and I will tell you why. I let my war flight subscription expire. Uh, it's, uh... I mean, I used it for my instrument training, and now, basically, I use it for, um, <laughs> mostly for, uh, for the sim, really. And the bottom line is, with the jump charts and the plan that I had, it costs $450 or thereabouts, and I don't feel like spending 450 bucks right now to get my charts back. So, let's have a look at the charts here. Taxi chart that we do want to see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Let's go. Let's kill that. I don't think there is. A charts list. There are no charts exactly. Alright, so um, that's all good. Get rid of this. So this is uh, this is our flight today. We're just going to go over to Culebra and I'm going to see if I can land this airplane in Culebra. So here we go. Here's the taxi uh, taxi diagram, which is what I was looking for. And the other thing I'm looking for for is the weather. Where is the weather?
weather. Forgive me because this is no, I don't. I mean, maybe I do need some assistance because clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. I know there's a way to get. I know there's a way to get the Mitar. Well, you know what? He's going to give it to me anyway. I got a controller. Alright, so. 10 1 Sandra, uh, very good afternoon. Voyager 2 to Mike Sierra, passing the Congratulations for feet, having me waste your time. Feet. Voyager 2 to Mike Sierra, Sandra, uh, Sandra, 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 Uh, sorry, please say again, it was blocked by Jack to Mike Sierra. Voyager 2 to Mike Sierra, send one center, climb and maintain 13000. Climb and maintain 13000, Voyager 2 to Mike Sierra. Send one center, Anguilla 264. Anguilla 264, send one. Uh, send one center, Anguilla 264 on the ground at uh, St. Thomas. Uh, we are VFR to Culebra. Angola 264, contact uh, San Juan departure on 119.4. 119.4 for Angola 264. We heard that before. Uh, what I should do is. What I should do is actually put in the number 2 radio, but that's alright. So he must be doing local stuff here on 119.4. So, say one departure, Angula 264. Uh, aircraft calling, say one departure, say call sign again. Anguilla 264. Anguilla 264, San Juan departure. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, departure. Anguilla 264 on the ground at St. Thomas. We are VFR to Culebra. I'm ready to taxi. Anguilla 264, uh, Squawk 1406. And uh, runway 10 is in use. Uh, wind 06013, altimeter 2996. Okay, so walking 1406, altimeter 2996, and runway 10 is in use. We are ready for taxi. Anguilla 264. Anguilla 264, runway 10, taxi via Foxtrot, Echo, Alpha, cross runway uh, 10 at Foxtrot. Okay, Foxtrot, Echo, Alpha, and cross runway 10 at Foxtrot for Anguilla 264. Okay. Or leans, turn on the taxi lights. Uh, let's turn off the uh, turn off the external power supply. All right, so time to get moving here. That only took about ten minutes. You can always tell commercial pilots because they don't mind letting their engines run, whereas us. Uh, <laughs> When, when you're paying the bill yourself, the fuel bill that is, then you don't, uh, you don't like sitting there with the engines running. So. American 395, wind 07017, runway 10, clear to land. Second 395, clear to land, runway 10, sir. Uh, there's somebody on the runway. I suppose it would probably be a good idea to expedite. Let's 
so I was watching the video of my landing in the labor and it wasn't bad but it's it's sort of like uh, it's sort of like St. Martin's and then there is a I mean I'm sure there's a way that the people who fly that approach regularly would tell you to fly it but I just kind of watched my approach and made my own sort of determination as to what would make the most sense. So speaking of what would make the most sense, he is bigger than I am. I'm assuming that's live traffic otherwise. Uh, okay, yeah, this isn't going to work as well as I thought. I thought he was turning onto this taxiway. So this is the pay where... Airport. For St. Thomas, and it's really pretty nice. Now I am going to assume that this is possibly another Vatsyn pilot who has no idea what he's doing. Always possible. It's not. Anyway, I have a look at my approach, and I think I need to uh, come in at a bit of a uh, The problem is you need to cut the angle as much as you can because Otherwise, it's, it's, a, it's a steeper turn for landing. Uh, American 395, welcome to San Juan. Left turn, Hotel 4. Taxi to parking via Hotel Lima, November. What I should have done is told this guy I could take a intersection departure at Charlie. That would have been good. But, as they say, runway... Runway behind you is one of the three most useless things in aviation. The three most useless things in aviation are fuel in the <laughs> fuel essentially fuel that's not in your fuel tanks. In other words, you didn't put as much fuel in as you could have, or you didn't refuel when you could have. Uh, number two is runway, and this is the ILS hold short line. This is where if you go past this line, you could interfere with the ILS signal. Uh, number two is, what was I saying, runway behind you. Go 264, wind uh, 06013. Right down when departure is approved, runway 10, clear for takeoff. Right down when departure approved, clear for takeoff and go to 264. Uh, runway behind you and altitude above you, I'll just be quick about it. Alright, mixtures and props full forward. I don't see anybody on the final. Okay, nobody on the final. Let's get out on the center line here. Alright. So, heading indicator checks with the Roman number, that is good. Takeoff power is coming in. Takeoff power is set. Engine instruments are in the green. Airspeed is a lot already. Kind of hard to believe, 
Hello 264, say altitude requesting. Uh, Bullet 264, go at 3000. Bullet 264, uh, maintain VFR at 3000, advise of any changes and clear on course. Clear on course, I'm below 264. Same with departure angle, the Jesus War. I'm gonna stay at 2500 to stay below the clouds. Angle 264, copy that. Uh, maintain VFR at or below 2500. Or at 2500, five of any changes. Alright, angle 264. Alright, let's go a few blocks off. Uh, a few pressures are a bit. Another 500 feet heading down to get into clouds, and that could have been problematic. The other thing that might be problematic is if I get myself right in the middle of the final approach course for on level zero, that would probably be problematic as well, which I already am. So. Delta 120, San Juan departure. You are cleared to Jacksonville International Airport via the Oconee 3 departure. Sapo transition that is filed. Maintain 6000, expect level 360, one zero minutes after departure. Departures with me, 119.4, squawk 1433. Delta 120 readback is correct. Push and start at your discretion. Advise when ready to taxi. Expect runway 8 for departure. I'm just going to dial that in just in case. Uh, 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 yeah, Concord 1 Heavy. Clarence, I request your number 1. Stay by. So, another stunning review.
Easy Jet Concorde 1 Heavy, clear to Houston International Airport by the Oconee 3 departure, SAPO transition that is filed. Maintain 5,000, expect flight level 60010 minutes after departure. Departures with me, 119.4, squawk 1440. Maintain 5,000, step on 6 0 one heavy. Use Concord 1-heavy, is correct. Push to start at your discretion, advise I'm oh, ready to taxi, sorry. expect oh. runway 8 for departure. Is that we can get a, uh, corner 55 from start with Uh, is Jet Concord 1-heavy, sorry, can you repeat that a little slower? Sorry, uh, yeah, do you mind if we can get a, uh, unrestricted flight? Well, it was 264, uh, copy that and advise when, uh, do you want to cancel, uh, flight following now? Oh, uh, yeah, I can cancel flight following Go 264. Go 264, uh, squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Have a good flight. VFR, frequency change approved. Have a great day. Thanks for your help. Alright, so, I see that's one step ahead of the game. Doesn't save me a whole lot of time having that uh, frequency dialed in. It does save me some time. Culebra traffic, uh, Willow 264 is five miles to the east inbound runway 7, Culebra. I just guessed the runway number. I literally just guessed at it. So I hope I'm, <laughs> I hope I'm close. I think it's actually a one. Traffic and Google 264, uh, three mile left base for runway 07, Libra. Correction, runway 13, Libra. It's gotta be runway 13. Final runway one three labor. 
really gotta push the nose down now. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. Actually, a pretty darn good approach. Just the uh, I had a little, much, perhaps a little bit too much speed, and just didn't lead it off quite as well. All right, two pumps off, flaps up, mixtures leaned. This airplane is so tough, basically, that sort of made up for my made up for my shortcomings. Alright, mixture style, cut off, avionics off, master switches off, master battery off, lights off, parking brake set, um, not too bad, um, certainly a uh, pretty good approach actually, but can certainly do a little bit on the landing itself, so that was fun though.